Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this edition of Politics and Why Meet the Candidates 2022, Three Questions, Three Minutes. I'm Jane Hansen. And today we're talking with Adam Roberts, who is a candidate for the State Assembly in District 73, which is part of the east side of Manhattan, goes down to into parts of Midtown. And Adam, there are a lot of people vying for this seat, which Dan Court is vacating, five of them in the primary alone. So what is it that made you decide you wanted to take this on? Sure, thank you for having me. Um, I I'm running because I'm the most experienced candidate in this race, particularly the issues that matter most to voters. Um, as an experienced political leader, I've worked for these sides, former council member Ben Kalos, served as an elected Democratic State Committee member, fundraised for UJA Federation, and produced a documentary for PBS on U.S. Russia relations. Hmm. And I'm going to use this experience and knowledge and policy making to create a better quality of life in a few key ways. First, I will proudly advocate for new housing, including market rate, affordable, and supportive housing. Second, I will make the East Side more accessible by being a champion of finishing the Second Avenue subway. And lastly, I'm going to advocate for street safety and cleanliness by redesigning our streets with clearly defined bus and bike lanes, enforcing traffic laws, and disposing of waste and containers. And those are some of the many issues I'll advocate for in Albany and some of the many reasons I'm running to represent this district. Well, when we talk about the housing, I mean, obviously, you are, if, you, if elected, you'd represent one of the toniest, if not one of the more expensive neighborhoods of Manhattan. Um, going to be a little bit hard to do something to get those prices down and make it more affordable. Yes, uh, New York City, New York State, and actually our entire metropolitan region are facing a housing crisis due to a lack of inventory, um, essentially a lack of housing that's available. Mm -hmm. It's just basic supply and demand. There's high demand to live in New York, which is wonderful. We want people to want to live here. Um, but the fact is, too many people want to live here for the amount of housing we have, and that's driven prices up. And that is the number one issue for voters in this neighborhood, is that people like me and my significant other, Rachel, we want to raise our future family here. It's incredibly expensive to do that. And for people here who are aging in place and want their children and grandchildren to be near them, it's really uh, terrifying for them to think that their grandchildren and children may be moving out to Jersey, Connecticut, but, but even so to other parts of the country where they would be further and further away from them. Yeah, I guess. So last question. Tell us something about yourself that we don't know um, because, you know, we just, we, we want to know everything, Adam. <laughs> well, for, for those who uh, know me well, they know I, I have a prodigious knowledge of uh, pop culture, especially movies and TV and, and perhaps uh, nothing more so than Seinfeld. I am, uh, I'll claim to be the world's biggest Seinfeld fan. I can memorize almost entire Seinfeld episodes, uh, line by line, scene for scene. Uh, I'll, I'll quote Seinfeld not only once a day, but multiple times a day, just going around the house. Uh, I can't say uh, my significant other Rachel loves living <laughs> with that experience, uh, but it certainly creates an entertaining environment here. Thank you, Adam. Good luck on the campaign trail, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you again. And um, to everybody out there, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.